There we go. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by once again. I want to talk to you about this one just a little bit. Now, I've talked before about the Beretta 8000 series, and boy, do I like them. Now, y'all know me. I like anything from the 90s, especially double action, single action, solid steel or solid aluminum metal guns that feel like guns in your hands. Anything that was used in the movies in the 90s, I tend to kind of gravitate towards. I don't carry these guns, but when I go to the range, they're a lot of fun to shoot. Now, a while back, I talked about the Beretta 8000, or called the Beretta Cougar. It's still being made today in Turkey under the name Stoger. Now, they're calling them the exact same gun. They're not really, the finish on them are really, really different. Now, in the 90s, beginning in the 90s, it went up into the early 2000s, Beretta was making the 8000 series. Now, there's a whole lot of different variants. Y'all know the drill. They come in four different different chamberings, 41 Action Express, 9mm, 357 SIG, 40 and 45. I guess we'll call that five different chamberings. This one is the 9mm. Now, a while back, I talked about the 40 and the 45 a little bit, but I have not been able to get my hands on one in 9mm, and I finally got one. This is the Beretta 8000. I don't know when this one was made. I haven't looked it up yet, but boy, do I like it. The trigger on this is fantastic. A little bit of take up, but when it goes, pow, it goes quick. Feels to me a little bit like one of my CZ triggers. I'm not gonna say exactly like that, but more in that vein, it definitely has a great feel to it. And again, I like anything that's single action, double action, and it's got a little bit of heft to it. I like guns that feel like guns. Now, again, these are still being made today under the Stoger name, but the Stoger finish, I just don't like. It doesn't feel right to my hands. People trust them, people enjoy them, but I like the old ones. I found this one on one of the online stores and I saw it, grainy picture. I rolled the dice and boy, I'm glad that I did. Now, mine came with two magazines. All the magazines are double stack except for the 45s and they come in different sizes. You can get 10, 13s, and 15s. You can get different finishes. They have an Inox that is gorgeous, all stainless steel. Now, there's a lot of different variants, but the standard one is going to be a single action, double action with an exposed hammer. I don't do a lot of specs, but it's about two pounds, seven inches long. It's going to have an ambidextrous decocking and safety device there. Again, there's some that are decocking only. There's some without the exposed hammer, but overall, it's a neat gun. I really like these things. This is the one that was used by Ethan Hunt, played by Tom Cruise in the 1996 film Mission Impossible. So again, I like anything that's connected to Hollywood. I like it. Finally got my hands on one. It's been to the range a couple times and boy, do I like it. This is the Beretta 8000 from Italy. It's called the Cougar. I like it. I'm Johnny and I'm happy. <laughs>